Hello. Today I'd like to go over the early history of Tang Sudo. This is required information for students testing in the World Tang Sudo Association. First of all, it's important to recognize where Korea is. Korea is east of China, just west of Japan, and a little bit north of Okinawa. And we'll see how that plays in later. In the early days, the Korean Peninsula and the area north of it was divided into three kingdoms, the Shilla, Koguryo, and Pakche. I am using the spelling that is in the World Tang Sudo Association student manual, although you will see that there are different spellings out there. The way I remember these three kingdoms is the word syncope. Sing, although it really should be Silla, Ko for Koguryo, and Pe for Pakche. We need to know that the Shilla dynasty was founded in 57 BC. We need to know that the Koguryo kingdom was founded in 37 BC, and the Pakche kingdom was founded in 18 BC. The Shilla dynasty was known primarily for the development of martial arts, as it was shown on ruins, tombs, and mural paintings. And in fact, we can see one of those mural paintings here that dates from about 600, which shows the traditional dobok robe. Another key facet of the Shilla dynasty was the Huarang Dan. Sometimes you'll see this written as three words, and sometimes you see it written as two. They were a military corps formed by young aristocrats. Most of the Korean martial arts trace their spiritual and technical heritage back to this group. One of the important figures during the Shilla dynasty was the monk Wan Kuang. He was a Buddhist monk, a scholar, and a teacher, and it was he who wrote the Five Commandments, which became the guidelines for the Huarang Dan. These later became our five codes of Tang Sudo. In 668, the Shilla dynasty was able to unite pretty much all parts of the Korean peninsula. This was called the Unified Shilla and lasted until 935 AD. In 1918, the military leader Wang Kon came to power and began the Koryo dynasty. In 935, Wang Kun overthrew the territories belonging to the Shilla dynasty, unifying the whole peninsula under Koryo rule. Afterwards, he was given the name King Taijo, great founder. In 1392, the Chosun dynasty came to power, led by the Yi family. During the Chosun dynasty, the Koreans adopted Confucianism. During the late Koryo, and early Chosun dynasties, Tang Sudo became highly popular among the military society and general public. Su Bak Do was one of the words used to describe our art at the time. It was during the Chosun dynasty that the Muye Dobo Tongji was written. It was commissioned in 1790 and is the oldest surviving book on Korean martial arts. You need to know that Su Bak Ki is the formal name of Tang Sudo. We can see that in addition to text, the author drew drawings, some of which were animated. And so I will hit play so that you can see that in action.
The Chosun Dynasty came to an end in 1910 when the Japanese occupied the Korean Peninsula. During this time, practice of the martial arts was forbidden. We will continue with the history of Tang Soo Do in the next video. Thanks for watching.